Brilliant stars and galaxies, fiery suns and silvery moons are part of the celestial objects portrayed that participated in the Astronomical Photographer of the Year contest. However, the big winner of the 2022 edition was an incredible image of Comet Leonard taken by Gerald Remen. In this video, I brought to you the gist in detail, so make sure you stick with me to the end. First, how did Remen manage to take such an incredible picture of Comet Leonard? Remen's remarkable image titled Disconnection Event shows Comet C. 2021, A1, commonly known as Comet Leonard, which was first discovered in January 2021 by astronomer Greg Leonard right in the most dramatic moment of his life. In the photograph, Remen managed to image a breakout event, hence its name, which happens with a piece of the comet tail breaks away after being hit by high-speed solar particles. Gerald said, as published by the prestigious contest's website, that's a piece of Comet Leonard's tail was ripped off and blown away by the solar wind. He added that he was very lucky that the weather at Tovoli Farms, Nambia, was excellent when he opened the roof of the observatory. He recognized that the comet's tail looked spectacular in the first image he took, so he decided to widen the field of view with a second image, and that's where the disconnection occurred. The incredible image of Comet Leonard, which today is the winner of the Astronomical Photographers of the Year contest, was taken on Christmas Day, a reason that really amazed the judges. Imad Ahmed, judge of the contest, agrees that of the greatest value to scientists as it elegantly captures a disconnection event. However, this photograph, which was taken on Christmas Day, also seems to tell an otherworldly story. It could be the Star of Bethlehem, an angel, or a fairy flying through the night sky. Although for many astrotographers, this comet was the highlight of the year, with almost a quarter of the images competing in the Planets, Comets, and Asteroids category, Remen managed to take the title of overall winner because according to the judges, quote, astronomy may and art come together beautifully in this shot. Next, let's talk about the winners of the 2022 Astronomical Photographer of the Year contest. Let's start with the Skyscape category winner. The winner of this category was Zihui Hu with his photographer Stabering the Stars. Next is the Sun category winner Somyadeep Mukherjee. A Year in the Sun was the winning sun image for 2022. Next up, the Moon category winner Plato's East Rim Shadow Profile by Martin Lewis was the winning image in the natural satellite category, what about the galaxy category winner? The majestic hat galaxy photograph taken by photographers Utkarsh Mishra, Michael Petrosko, and Muir Evendon took the galaxies category. Another winner worth talking about is the people in space category winner. The winning photograph in this category was International Space Station Transit Tranquility Base by Andrew McCarthy. The Sunrise category winner also made the list. Philippe Ribana was the winning photographer in this category category with the image titled In the Embrace of a Green Lady. Let's also talk about the Sir Patrick Moore Award for Best Newcomer. The winner of the Sir Patrick Moore Award for Best Newcomer was Lon Deng with the image The Milky Way Bridge Across the Great Snowy Mountains. Next in the list is the Annie Maunder Award for Image Innovation. Solar Tree by Pauline Woolley was the winner of this award. What about the Stars and Nebulae category winner? Wee Tang Liang's The Eye of God photograph was the winner of the Stars and Nebulae Nebulae category of the 2022 Astronomical Photographer of the Year contest. Next up is the Young Contest winner, Yang Hanwen, and Zhao Zezen's Andromeda Galaxy The Neighbor was the big winner in this category. In other news, James Webb Telescope captures its first images of Mars. Let's talk about what it looks like. NASA's James Webb Telescope captured its first images and spectra of Mars in September, providing a unique perspective with its infrared sensitivity on our neighboring planet contemplating data collected by orbiters and rovers such as Perseverance, which found organic matter on the Red Planet. According to NASA, Webb's unique outlook nearly a trillion miles away from the Red Planet offers a view of the observable disk of Mars that is the sunlit side facing the telescope. How did the James Webb Telescope capture Mars? The James Webb Telescope was able to capture images and spectra with the resolution needed to study short-term phenomena such as dust storms, weather patterns, seasonal changes, and a single observation processes that occur at different times of a Martian day. The instruments are so sensitive that, without special observing techniques, the bright infrared light from the red planet is binding, causing a phenomenon known as detector saturation. The astronomers adjusted for the extreme brightness of Mars using very short exposures, measuring only part of the light that hit the detectors. Now let's talk about the first images of the red planet now. The first images from the James Webb Telescope of Mars, captured by the near-infrared camera NIR-CAM, show a region of the planet's east 
Eastern Hemisphere in two different wavelengths, or colors, of infrared light. This image shows a NASA surface reference map and the Mars Orbiter Laser Altimeter MOLA, with the two fields of view from the Webb NearCam instrument superimposed. NearCam's short wavelength image is dominated by reflected sunlight and thus reveals surface details similar to what appears in visible light images of Mars. The longer wavelength NearCam image shows thermal emission. The light emitted by planet is it loses heat. The brightness of 4.3 micron light is related to the temperature of the surface in the atmosphere. The brightest region of the planet is where the sun is almost above the planet. Because it's generally warmer, the brightness decreases towards the polar regions which receive less sunlight and less light is emitted from the colder northern hemisphere, which experiences winter at this time of year. Next, let's take about the complications of the James Webb to capture Mars. Temperature was the main factor affecting the amount of 4.3 micron light reaching the James Webb telescope with its filter. As light emitted by the planet passes through Mars' atmosphere, some of it is absorbed by carbon dioxide molecules. The Hellas Basin, which is the largest well-preserved impact structure on Mars, stretching from 2,000 kilometers, appears darker than its surrounding due to its effect. Geronimo Villanova of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center disclosed that this is not actually a thermal effect in Hellas. The Hellas Basin is at a lower altitude and therefore experiences higher air pressure. The high air pressure led to suspension of thermal emission in this particular wavelength range due to the effect called pressure broadening. What will this data be used for in the future? Preliminary analysis of the spectrum shows a rich set of spectral features that contain information about dust, icy clouds, what kind of rocks are on the surface of Mars, and the composition of the atmosphere. Spectral signatures including deep valleys, no as absorption features, or water, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide are easily detected with the James Webb Telescope in the future, the Mars team will use this imaging and spectroscopic data to explore regional differences across the planet and search for trace gases in the atmosphere, including methane and hydrogen chloride. What do we have next? Let's talk about asteroid Ryogu, where scientists have found carbonated water and organic matter that would support hypotheses about the origin of life on Earth. After an analysis of 17 samples of fine dust from the asteroid that were brought back by the Habayusu 2 spacecraft, carbonated water with salts and organic matter was found inside which would support the hypothesis that life came to Earth from space. The mysterious asteroid 162173, also known as Ryugu, is one of the oldest objects in the solar system. Discovered in 1999, this celestial body could host only one of the original sources of carbon that our planets received. The finding, published in the Journal of Science and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, occurs within the framework of the first anniversary of the start of the study. Among the samples collected by Japanese space probe, it is liquid water inside of a sample crystal. This water was carbonated, containing salts and organic matter, which was once present in the main body of Ryugu. The study, led by Professor Nakamura Tomoki from Tohoku University, states that the numerical simulations, based on the mineralogical and psychological properties of the samples, indicate that the main body of Ryugu formed two million years after the beginning of the formation of the solar system. Scientists point out the finding of amino acids in the samples is considered one of the pillars of life. The drop of water inside of iron sulfide crystal also contain carbon dioxide. In addition, crystals with a shape similar to that of coral reefs were also seen on the surface of the samples. These crystals are believed to have grown in the liquid water existing within the original body of Ryugu. And that concludes today's video, my friends. If you found the video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Also, do let me know in the comments section your favorite winner of the 2022 Astronomical Photograph of the Year contest. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.